deconstruction for the reconstruction of Palestinian unity in Gaza. This was, until this morning, Hamas's customs post near the border with Israel. Al Jazeera was last here almost three weeks ago. And this is where I have to have a visa for permission to enter the Gaza Strip. Mahaba. Now it's been taken apart. Mediators from Egypt, along with officials from Hamas and Fatah, oversaw the handover, part of Hamas's agreement to return control of Gaza to the Palestinian Authority. This is, is going to be the end of the, the, the division. Inshallah, this is the first time to be the end of the real division because we see everything is was very easy, very smoothly, as you said, from, from, from our brother in Gaza. This is the seventh attempt at Palestinian reconciliation in Gaza in the last 10 years, but this is the first time that we've seen the physical tearing down of Hamas's institutions here. And it's that that's giving weary Palestinians in Gaza a faint glimmer of hope that this time the reconciliation might just work. The cost of living should also come down. Hamas used to levy taxes on goods and food. A car could be 25% more expensive here than in the West Bank. That's now stopped. At this crossing, the handover of power will have little practical impact for Palestinians because Israel lets hardly anyone leave. The few that left today were hopeful that conditions might improve. Reconciliation is good for the people in Gaza. It will help to solve electricity problem, lift the siege and solve other problems. It's the border between Gaza and Egypt that people here are desperate to see reopened. Construction work is keeping it closed for another two weeks. When it's ready, Palestinians will be able to travel freely outside Gaza for the first time in 10 years. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Gaza.